Hello, and welcome to Community Hotline at Home. I'm your host, Monica Weitzel. Today, our guest is the mayor of Wood Village, Oregon, Scott Harden. Scott is not only the mayor, he also represents the city on the Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission, the Halsey Street Collaborative, and the Play East Recreation Program Board. Oh, and I forgot to mention he also has a full-time job. Mayor Harden, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you, Monica. It's a pleasure to be here. And uh, before we start, I also want to thank you for Community Hotline. You know, you've done hundreds and hundreds of episodes that uh, feature uh, not, you know, nonprofits and public servants that reflect the strength that's always existed in our community. And you'll do one, you know, hundreds more reflecting our resilience. Uh, you know, there's going to be loss throughout this, whether it's lives or jobs or 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 businesses. Uh, but Community Hotline will be part of the healing process. I want to thank you. I want to thank Metro East. You guys put the community in community media. Oh, thank you, Scott. That was that was very generous and very nice. Um, we're we're really happy to to do that. We're proud of this community. You know, you, you took on the role of mayor as about a little over a year ago. Is that right? Yep, I yeah. became mayor in uh, January, uh, quite by accident. In Wood Village, uh, the voters elect five city councilors, and then the councilors elect a mayor from amongst you know our our board. And in the past, I was actually the one that had denominated Tim Clark, and of course we lost him to uh, cancer last year. And as a result, the mayor position was open, and the council uh, was uh, kind enough to uh, vote for me uh, to represent the city as mayor. I bet that when you took on that role, you had no idea of the this monumental issue that you're going to have to be dealing with as the mayor, uh, the COVID-19 issue, because that's a that's a big deal for, for anybody leading a, a city. Yeah, it is. And as you mentioned, I have a full-time job. And I, I got to tell you, sometime throughout the, the whole crisis, I felt a little bit sad that um, I'm not a Day, that my day-to-day -day job isn't mayor and that I can't be doing more uh, to protect my constituents, uh, my residents, uh, to look out for them. I mean, I'm pummeling them with social media posts uh, with, uh, you know, instructions and admonitions to stay home, to wash your hands, not to, uh, to touch your face. And I, I washed my hands before I got here like 15 times. Uh, but, uh, I, I really like to have more of an opportunity to tell them how proud I am of them. There's, there's nobody on the street and, you know, uh, people seem to be, you know, staying home and, and taking all the instructions. And I really appreciate that they're going out of the way to protect themselves and one another. Good. good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, I, you know, you said you wish you could do more. Well, you're, you're telling them now that you're proud of them. Tell me what else the city of Wood Village has done to help out the residents and the businesses uh, regarding this crisis. Sure. Well, the first thing to talk about is our utility relief uh, program. And while we're calling it new, it's not actually new. Uh, it's existed uh, for more than a decade. Uh, it had uh, $3,600 in it before we added funds. And those funds have gotten there through voluntary uh, payroll deduction on behalf of our employees. And that fund is spent between two and $5,000 a year helping people with their utility bills. So now we've expanded it because we've added a considerable amount of money to it, uh, about $140,000. And we got there because we're a well-budgeted city. We're a, a thoughtful city. Uh, we're a city that likes to have fun. And so some of the fun has had to disappear. We've already had to cancel our wildly popular annual Easter egg hunt. Uh, we've had to cancel cleanup day. So we took those budget dollars and put them into the fund. When I say we're well budgeted, we've had a number of uh, recent capital projects that have come in well under budget. So we took that remainder and put it into the fund. And when I say that we're well planned, we have an annual performance plan where we challenge staff to go above and beyond their day to day and accomplish programs on behalf of the city and one of those was going to be a facade program for 238th street uh, that had a hundred thousand dollars budgeted in it and we moved that to the fund wow. the other changes are that the fund now applies to small businesses as well and it, it's not an or uh, up to you know around 250 dollars is our plan right now we will pay your light bill your and your gas bill and your water bill if you're not able to. And when we declared a state of emergency on March 13th, we also waived shutoffs, uh, we waived late fees, 
And when we come out of this on the other side and you find yourself in June or July, uh, still late to the point where you're gonna get shut off, we may still shut you off, but we won't charge you the shut off fee and we won't charge you the turn back on fee when you catch up. Wow, that's, that's, um, <clears throat> that's gonna be a huge reassurance to the people of, of Wood Village knowing that you know, they, they're still going to be able to have power, they can still have their lights and their, and their heat and, and for the businesses because this is really, really rough on, on the businesses. So everybody's hurting and it uh, sounds like the city is really doing everything they can to, you know, to, make it, to make it as um, comfortable as possible, I guess. So um, we don't have a whole lot more time. Um, is there anything else you want to tell us about what's going on in Wood Village right now? Well, we have uh, closed City Hall. Uh, it's open via appointment. Uh, we still have our website open. Uh, there will still be staff here every day. They're gonna start alternating five staff in the office, five staff working from home. So if you have an emergency, even if you just pound on the door, uh, there'll still be someone here to serve you. And our, our public works team, while they're riding only one person to a truck now, is still at full staff, and they're still doing all of the things that we need to do to keep the city uh, functioning. So uh, we're, we're, we're working hard here uh, to uh, make sure that uh, people remain safe and, uh, and that they remain comfortable and that as much of their life as possible is still business as usual. Good. I, I have to say you're doing a great job, Scott, and I'm impressed with the, the work the city's done. So thank you so very much. And thanks for being my guest today on Community Hotline at Home. And to all the rest of you, on behalf of our entire team at Metro East, we hope you all stay safe and healthy. Thank you.